Hi, my name is Jelani. I'm a follower of Jesus. Um, before I gave my life to Jesus, I was very confused. Um, I was was burning in lust for both men and women and not knowing why, hence the confusion. Um, very anxious, very depressed. I had been researching in the past different religions, so I was really not knowing what direction to go, who to be worshiping, who to be following. I became a follower of Jesus. Um, well, I'll say I had my first experience um, years ago. Um, and I was actually living in a Buddhist temple and I woke up one day and um, all I could do was listen to gospel music and learn about Jesus and I was, um, that's pretty much what I was doing. And, uh, um, but when I truly started following Jesus, was actually this April of this year and woke up and sitting in my living room and I, I had previously prayed about having my sexuality corrected to the way it was supposed to be, the way that it would be big, biblically correct and it was and I felt like a I had a God or Jesus shaped hole in my heart that was filled by them. Jesus is my redeemer my deliverer, my my leader, my teacher, um, my savior, simply put, my savior. Jesus on the cross gave me a chance to have a right relationship with God. Without that, I'd be deserving of death, as it says in the Bible. Um, our wages of sin are death, so. Um, what Jesus did on the cross for me was prevent me from receiving that due punishment of death and gave me a chance to have a right relationship with God. I'm not perfect, and, and no one is, but it changed me from, well, some things did change in that um, some things were corrected, some, um, some sins were, I just didn't repent of them, they were actually corrected by the grace of God, but it made me more obedient and the things that I have struggled with in, in, in the fact that I want to struggle with them and, and try to get better is something that wasn't there before I wouldn't have wanted to struggle with it I would have just let the sin have its way and that would have been the end of it but now I want to be obedient, and even in the places where I struggle, I want to struggle to become better, to be more like Christ. I want to be baptized because um, primarily I want to be baptized um, so, so that I can publicly display my faith in Christ. Jelani, have you placed your faith in Jesus alone to save you? Yes. And it is my privilege to baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit.